at the very beginning, I, we will talk a lot about photo books and about our books. So we will show a lot of examples of what's there and uh, explain why we did what we did. I mean, what's the idea behind of making the books? And um, then we'll start working with pictures and it will be a lot about editing and sequencing. So we will first begin with uh, editing the pictures and, and making a selection. The result of the workshop should be um, that everyone has a dummy. Does everyone understand what a dummy means? So we'll have you will have a printed book in your hands, which will not be absolutely perfect because it's a trial, it's a test. Yes, but you will come up with uh, sequencing, editing materials that we find there. You will print it and you will bind it, and so you will have a book in in your hands. But this will be like a first step towards your book. It can be the final step. If you are ready, yeah, but it can be the first or like the second step, depends on how far you are. Could we say something like, it would be great to come with a selection of maybe 50 images that you really love and then have a backup of one to 200 images? Yeah, I would say something like from 40 to, I don't know, 60, 80, something like this. Big selection and then like a backup selection. I mean, the book is not a portfolio of your best pictures. The book is tells a story and uh, it tells a, like a, it gives you a mood, but it's not a portfolio. <clears throat> and I mean, that's why that's why it's really important to also bring pictures uh, which of which you might think they are not the greatest pictures. They're not good pictures, but maybe they fit in the sequence or in the editing and so on. During the workshop, there will be no time for researching texts or looking for texts or trying to figure out what kind of text, uh, text I need. Some pictures, or some series do require text. Can be lyrics from songs, can be quotes from movies, can be like everything. Just bring something. Uh, if you think you need a text and you cannot write, then yeah, work with a curator or work with someone who, who can write a text about your work uh, that also understands your work in the first place. Some of the pictures don't need a text like street photography that you don't need to find the like necessarily to find the text i think i think this is not true that you don't have good paper there's paper everywhere i just don't look for it it also happened when i was in burma in myanmar so they people say yeah we, there's no paper here there's absolutely nothing just white paper and then you we just went to the market and you find a lot of things i think it's really a, a question of focus so if you if you never like looked, like especially looked for papers, uh, you don't see it. I actually go quite a lot on in construction market just to find different materials which are really cheap for, I don't know, for covers or for, so I get inspired by all these things that are actually not meant to, to be used for books. <laughs>